Now, it is unclear at this hour when or even if pro-democracy student leaders will meet with a top government official. Emily Lau, the chairwoman of one of the main pro-democracy parties here in Hong Kong, is very familiar with the issues at hand. She joins me now live from the site of the city's main protest area in the city's central business district across the harbor. Um, Emily Lau, thank you so much for joining us here on CNN. As we've been reporting this hour, peaceful pro-democracy protesters are under assault in Bangkok. What's happening and why are they being targeted? Well, actually, we don't know who's instigating all this. Who's instigating all this. And it is very disturbing. Many people are saying that maybe the Hong Kong government and Beijing are behind this. So this is absolutely alarming. Our Andrew Stevens is live at the scene. He described that there is just a very thin police line separating the peaceful protesters from this increasingly aggressive anti-occupy crowd. Will there be more police sent to Bangkok to protect the protesters? Well, that's the thing. How come the police did not turn up? They, they waited for a long time. And, and so that's why we feel that something is cooking. And the whole thing is very nasty and very serious. We have such peaceful protests, and now suddenly it's turned so nasty. So we want to condemn the Hong Kong government and condemn Beijing. This is really very, very alarming and very disturbing. Now, again, we're still investigating these anti-occupy elements there at the scene, but I want to get your thoughts on the violence itself and the impact it's going to have on what was seen as a breakthrough, these talks, negotiations between the student protesters and the Hong Kong government. Will the violence negatively affect the talks? Yes, I heard that the students and the Occupy trio said if that goes on, they will halt all the talks. And many other people are saying they should have no more talks. And that is terrible. How do we resolve the situation? But the people feel that it is the government and Beijing, the Communist Party, who are behind all this, working with the criminal elements. The Hong Kong people are very angry. The pro-democracy movement is very angry. This is really, really a big shame. You call this a, a big shame. Tension is indeed rising. We know both sides are not standing down. We have reached major political deadlock here. Emily Lau, what is the solution? Well, we don't want any bloodshed. We don't want a repeat of Tiananmen, that's for sure. But it seems the authorities deliberately allow things to get out of hand. So if, if we have chaos here, it, should be, it would be on the hands of CY Leung and the Beijing regime. I condemn them. I condemn them on CNN. And Emily Lau, the business community, we know that they have the ear of Beijing. The top business tycoons of Hong Kong just had a meeting with Xi Jinping last week. The business community, though, they have been very quiet. Will they speak up to help end this standoff? Well, they have to speak up. They should speak up. This is our city, whether they are rich or poor. And now you see we are at the brink of crisis or even chaos. Now, the last thing we, learn, we want is for the government to start shooting on the protesters. So someone, people in authority, they have to intervene. They have to speak up. Now, it is unclear at this hour when or even if pro-democracy student leaders will meet with the top government official. Emily Lau, the chairwoman of one of the main pro-democracy parties here in Hong Kong, is very familiar with the issues at hand. She joins me now live from the site of the city's main protest area in the city's central business district across the harbor. Um, Emily Lau, thank you so much for joining us here on CNN. As we've been reporting this hour, peaceful pro-democracy protesters are under assault in Bangkok. What's happening and why are they being targeted? Well, actually, we don't know who's instigating all this. Who's instigating all this. And it is very disturbing. Many people are saying that maybe the Hong Kong government and Beijing are behind this. So this is absolutely alarming. Our 
Andrew Stevens is live at the scene. He described that there is just a very thin police line separating the peaceful protesters from this increasingly aggressive anti-occupy crowd. Will there be more police sent to Bangkok to protect?